Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about Utuari Rimono Futari no Haku Oro or Utuari Rimono Mask of Truth, which is on episode 18. Now, this episode right here finally concludes the war, so if anything else, let's just get this started. We have to it that they, that Anju, along with like um, Ostar and her company of allies, ends up finally meeting Raiko and they end up having a talk with him. Raiko cares and loves the Mikado as Mikado loves its people. However, Raiko believes that they have been coddled too much and have been babied or should I say been taken care of too much. What will happen if that emperor disappears or he abandons us, huh? He will. We have to learn how to take, take our own stand with our own two feet and learn how to walk on our own, you know, without any help. And this is pretty much true. Like, um... When it comes to a king, they will always want to protect their like um, subordinates or people because that's their that's their duty. They have to help them. They have to teach them everything. But eventually, we have to walk on our own without our leader. Eventually, eventually, because like um, that's just life. I mean, think about it. As human beings, as we grow older, you know, we we walk on our own and decide to make our own decisions and accept whatever consequences that come afterward. Well. That depends how much of a good human being you are, that is. I mean, like, there are always evil douchebags out there that has no care about the consequences of their own actions, but gets fearful of what's to come. Yada, yada, yada. Well, who, kn who knows? But Raiko just believed that he wanted to bring Yamato to a better place, like the nation Yamato to a better place, and that he was ready to accept his own death and ask Oshtar to do the finishing blow. However, we have to it that one of his like loyal subordinates, Shichika, whatever her name is, Shichiria, 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 Shichi, uh, <laughs> how do you pronounce that freaking woman's name? I don't know who who is she. Is. All I know is this loyal servant decides to like uh, give give Raiko the uh, Akratora mask, which apparently is the first one out of every every single one of them, as it. This mask becomes like, um, what's the word for it? Um, the prototype of becomes the first one to be let the other mask be a prototype. In other words, this was the original mask that was created, the Akura Tara or something, Akurata. But Raiko does not accept it. But the ser but this but his loyal servant was about to like um, take on that life instead. But Raiko decides to do the job anyway. Eventually, after hard hard, long, harsh battle, you know, Oshtar, Andrew, they all managed to defeat Raiko, and Raiko therefore fall, falls into the abyss of the forest, etc., you know? Then we have Andrew making an announcement saying that she will become the leader of Yamato and the rightful heir, and that she will help Yamato, like, grow and prosper greatly, you know, etc., then we get to see a post credit scene where um, Raiko has one last conversation with Shichiyada or something. And beforehand, he ends up turning into salt or dust and disip and dies, you know? We later on get to see a true antagonist or villain of the series, which is Woshis. Woshis, whatever that freaking idiotic fool's name is. All I know is he had all this planned out. He's the one that opened the gate to Yamato. He's the one that had the assassins ready to like, um, whatchamacallit, um, go into killing mode, you know, that kind of thing, yada, yada, yada. And then he actually set up Raikou to actually die. But he wanted Raikou, he wanted Raikou to take, take him, take like, um, whatchamacallit, um, Oshar with him. But sadly though, that didn't, that was too much to ask. And now that he'll continue his research and do what he needs to what he has been doing all the time. And Shichiaya was actually loyal to General Woshis all this time, ironically. But whatever the case may be, we'll have to see what comes next. But know this, that the until that guy is dead, the time of peace is only temporary and a new threat arises. So, yeah, pretty much it's not over yet. Things are about to get very hectic for our, for our heroes or something. But we'll have to see how that goes. Yo, yo. Alright, uh, I'm, I'm gonna end it up here, guys. I'll see you guys later. I'm off for zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.